Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. Welcome to today's message from Harvest Chapel International. We believe the message will be a blessing to you as you imbibe God's truth. God bless you. Help me sing, let's go. I have no other God, but I have no other God. I have no other God, but you. I have no other God. I have no other God. I want to hear a voice. I have no other God. I have no other God. But you. I have no other God. I have no other God. But you. I have no other God. I have no other God.
kesi hallelujah can i hear your voices rising unto the lord tonight no man can help you except the lord asafuye hoa Singing on Yakupane, oh, 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 Yakupan, Jesus, Sir, Wafo, Cassie, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Asafo, Safo, Asafo, yeah, oh. With your two hands lifted up, say, Father, I cannot hear you. Shout, Father, tonight, if there is only one person that will be blessed, let that person be me. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Lord, I don't mean to be selfish, but tonight, if there is only one person that has to be blessed, let that person be me. Lando Pahagayaga. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. If there is only one person, only one person, if there is only one person that must be blessed tonight, Lord, let that person be me. Lift your voice and talk to Jehovah. Talk to Jehovah. Talk to Jehovah. Let your voice be made heard in the heavenlies. Let it rise, rise through the stratosphere. Let it rise through the clouds. Begin to talk to God wherever you are. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, lift up your two hands unto heaven. Thank you, Lord. There's a cloud of glory that is about to envelope this place tonight. Thank you, Lord. And that cloud of glory is so strong. Every hand, please be lifted up unto heaven. My God, before I even start preaching tonight, there are seven people here. Ushers, please be ready. There are seven people here. I don't want to limit God. Let me just quickly and then I can preach. As I'm speaking right now, don't bahagada. Somebody watch this lady. There are seven people here. I see the glory of God coming upon them so strong that they cannot stand on their feet. Don't look at anybody. Let your hand be lifted up unto heaven. Holy Ghost, wherever they are, carry them forward. Yes. On the count of three. One, two, three. Yes, 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 yes. Carry that woman forward in the mighty name of King Jesus. Yes. Carry them, carry them, carry them, carry them. That one at the back. Carry her forward in the mighty name of King Jesus. Yes, Lord. I see the touch of God. Bring this woman forward in the mighty name of King Jesus. Yes. There is somebody here. I see a turning around in your glory a turn around in your glory in the mighty name of king jesus let it be seen right now there is a gentleman right now the power of god is so to be so strong over your life that man there watch that one there watch that lady bring them forward here in the mighty name of king jesus there is an oil coming up on you so strong so mighty so strong and so mighty bring them forward here thank you jesus thank you jesus Play on earth. Say yes to Oh, Casa. Can I have some buckets? Adini Nara. The rest of you, please sit down. Say yes to. I want to wave your hands as you. Oh, Casa. Can I have some buckets? Let's go. Adini Nara Yeko Apare Adini Nara Yeko Bring this one for me. Adini Nara Yeti Say yes to Bring that one here. Adini Nara Semichele Juma Esifa Let's go, come on now. Wayemuye Edosue Rade Oine Yeah, 
Let's go. How we sing it now? Put your hands on your forehead. There is an anointing about to hit somebody right now. That person cannot sit. The anointing of God will move in your life so strongly you cannot sit. It is going to be so strong, so strong, so strong, so strong, so strong. I see that pain coming out of your body. I see that pain coming out of your body. Watch that man here. Watch that man here. Come to me quickly. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. preach so let me finish preaching when I finish preaching bring these seven people to me there's not much time by the special grace of God Bishop I'll come back by the special grace of God so I will not attempt to do all the work tonight we'll do the very important ones and then I'll come back this woman is wearing an invisible ring that has to be pulled off her finger just leave her when she's falling just uh, guide the head some anointing in the air band is so strong. They're so strong. On the count of three. Yes. Watch her. Yeah, just let it. Uh -huh. <laughs> just leave it down. 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 One, two, three, four, five. What are the other two? When I finish. When I finish, come to me. Okay. Please sit down. Sit down. You, there's something I'm going to tell you when I finish. Okay. Lift up your right hand and say, Father, tonight, speak to me. How many of you believe that God is going to speak to you tonight? Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. I want to salute the bishop once again put your hands together please let's rise let's salute our bishop the one and only the general of us here the commander-in-chief of this great mission with a love offering with a standing ovation stretch your hands and begin to pray for him pray for him pray for him pray for him pray for him, pray for him. that the arrow that they threw that arrow will catch fire let that be your prayer pray if you love him clap your hands and pray that that arrow will catch fire let your prayer be loud whatever arrow they threw let it catch fire let it catch fire oh yeah da wa si nyami yeah yeah da begin to thank God for his life as we sing this song together, Yadawa Sio, Yeta Wasi Nyamie, Yeta 
yet Wave your hands and sing yet I see your whole world Yeah I see Yeah Yeah Yeah, yeah, Yes, I'm preaching a short message tonight from my new book by the special grace of God I released two new books not long ago clap for Jesus hallelujah this is principles for principal people and tonight I'm preaching from this book God bless you sir you can never become a principal person if your life is not governed by principles do you know that show me a principal person I'll show you a life that is governed by principles life is full of principles from the Archimedes principles to the principles of reaping and sowing, sowing and reaping. I mean, these are all principles. Is that not true? I decree over your life. Your principles shall not fail. Lift your voice and shout, Father, grant me the grace to live a principal life. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. The grace to live a principal life, it shall be your portion. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Ask God for the grace to live a principal life. Ask God for the grace to live a principal life. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. Talk to Jesus. The grace to become a principal person. We give you glory. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I want to salute one great man here before I preach. Please help me celebrate reverend dominic kofi put your hands together i salute all the men of god i salute all of you all protocols observe bishop noble i salute you now i'm going to tell you some things tonight okay from this book but as bishop said we are not just here for being here sick we come from the backside of the desert and this great man of god came from the backside of the desert it's my first pastor in Takradi when I became born again please salute him if you don't clap properly I won't preach <laughs> let's appreciate him let's appreciate Pastor Noble hallelujah I I salute you man of God I love you I love you I appreciate you God bless you any man who has not got the humility to acknowledge their source is a demon. <laughs> it's, it's a demon. This is my source. When I got born again, at the time in Takrari, the biggest church probably was Holy Fire. We could have joined Holy Fire. You know, but when harvest was starting in Takrari, we said, we want to work. I wanted a place where I can work. Today, the, the new generation, they don't want a place where they can work home. They want a place where, where, where they will sit in a nice theater and enjoy a concert party. Somebody say, Lord, have mercy on me. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, tonight, God will favor you. Shake the hand of that person and say, I prophesy upon you. Tell the person, me too, I'm a prophet. Come on, I cannot hear. Tell the person, me too, I'm a prophet. I am prophesying to you that you shall become a principal person. 
Lord, lift your voice for 20 seconds. Pray for that person. For 20 seconds, pray for that person. Just speak over the life of that person. Come on. Speak over the life of that person. Speak, 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 speak. Over the life of that person. In Jesus' mighty name. Please take your seats. Sit on the neck of your enemies. God bless you. Hallelujah. I'm preaching a short message tonight. I've titled, The Prince, The Prize, The Principle, and The Prize. The Prince, The Prize, The Principle, and The Prize. I started by saying that in life, everything is governed by principles you cannot become a principal person without being principled and i'm going to show you from the story of a few patriarchs in the bible how god elevated them from nobody's to become somebody's as a result of the encounter that they had with god through their principles and tonight there are 70 people here by the time this message is over i see god elevating you to the place of principality lift your voice and shout i'm the one he's talking about lift your voice and shout i'm the one he's talking about open your bibles with me very quickly to the book of genesis chapter number 32 genesis chapter number 32 let me read from the verse number 28 the verse number 28 and he said thy name shall be called no more jacob but israel for as a prince thou hast power with god and with men and has prevailed your name shall no longer be called jacob for as a prince but israel for as a prince thou has had power with god and with men and have prevailed there is somebody here after today i see your name being changed oh your amen is weak i see i see your your blessing i see your favor i see your glory about to visit you in the name of jesus lift your voice and shout amen like a believer if your amen is born again your blessings shall be born again if you believe that your glory shall arise today jump on your feet and shout fire sit on the neck of your enemies for the bible says for as a prince with God, you have had power with God and with men and has prevailed. We are living in a generation where a lot of people have not got the tenacity and the power to prevail. We are living in a generation, man of God, a lot of Christians today, if they go to a place and they don't get their testimony after one week, they are moving to the next place in search of miracles but when we got born again to the glory of god it was not so i used to tell somebody i said look those days when you wear your new suit to the glory of god you go to church the place and the floor was not as good and quality as this one but you still like prostrate and then you worship god but today with all our nice carpet when it is time for praise and worship nobody kneels down you don't see people rolling on the floor you know what because we have come to a place where we have become so easily enticed and entangled with the affairs of life but i see somebody in this place after tonight that will arise and say that by the grace and by the glory of god i will stand in the place of prayer i will stand in the place of god i will prevail with god and i will excel there is a man here by the time this message is over i see god making you a principal person lift your voice and shout i am the one he's talking about jacob was called jacob you and i know that the name jacob simply means a supplanter a deceiver the name jacob was not a very good name but jacob's name had to be turned around and i'll tell you this his name did not just get changed but he had to fight a certain battle he had to prevail with god he had to do certain things pay the price today a lot of people don't want to pay the price years ago when we started the church in takra i want to say this church was not as beautiful as this we used to have our instruments in one side of town sunday morning 
you have to go and carry the instrument from one side of town put it into a trotro and then we bring it to the other side where the church was and then when we finish we carry the same instrument back and we did it joyfully but we did not know that we we're paying a price for which God was going to make us a principal person I, you're not hearing me I said you're not hearing me today I've seen people in church if they are doing things and you're not paying them they will not do it oh I don't know who I'm speaking to can I preach <laughs> today you are looking for instrumentalists some instrumentalists if you don't increase their pay in line with inflation <laughs> thank God you're you not one of them <laughs> by the time you raise a second song they are gone <laughs> man of God it's not easy the other day I went to the Catholic church there was a funeral so I went there when I went there I observed something I realized that the man that was playing the keyboard his father also played the keyboard in the same church his grandfather also played the keyboard in the same church and when he was playing his son was by his side learning how to play the piano I said God bless you but today in our churches in our churches there is no principle of staying sometimes if <laughs> we don't get what we want we leave the place but I want to show you something from the life of Jacob very quickly because I haven't got much time tonight the Bible says in the same chapter 32 that Jacob, come with me very quickly. Let's just look at this one very quickly. I'm going to show you something. The verse number 24. Let's look at verse number 24. The Bible says, so Jacob was left alone. Tonight, I just want to share a few things with you. Number one principle that you must learn to become a principal person is to learn sometimes to be alone. Some people don't want to be lonely. Do you know that great prayer is a place of loneliness? Imagine you go and hide somewhere and you are praying, Jagabaha, Gando Brianda Kabo, alone. And then for three hours, Zagalabaha, you don't see anybody to talk to, no Facebook to watch. You know, you are not watching any television, you are not talking to your wife. It can be dry, it can be boring. But you know, when Jacob had to change his name, he had to adopt the principle of being lonely, the principle of separation of himself from the other things of life. Am I speaking to somebody here? Today, people don't pray. Believers, we don't even pray any longer. Today, all we want sometimes is somebody lay hands on me and pray for me. I believe that somebody can pray for you but I believe that one of the principles that can make you a principal person is the principle of having the attitude of prayer the principle of having the tenacity to be alone with God am I speaking to somebody here hey those days when we used to go to prayer <laughs> Reverend Dominic would go and hide you somewhere we used to have a prayer we called Bonawu but thank God nobody died we could go in the night prayer till the morning yesterday i met somebody that knew me from london he says this man i've known he's a man of prayer he says one day i came to this man's house and then he said let's pray by the time i realized two hours three hours and we're still praying because you know what we learned it from somewhere you don't become a principal person without having the principle of prayer you know what will make a man great in the day of trouble is the investment that you have made in prayer the bible says it came to a time jacob realized listen jacob realized that he had received a blessing but the blessing had to be activated i see glory upon the heads of people but unless you lock yourself in the place of prayer and activate it it will not work do you know do you know that in genesis chapter 27 verse 27 the bible says and jacob was blessed of his father isaac when he took the blessing in chapter 28 look at it even though he had a blessing he was still struggling struggling there was wahala upon his life he had taken a blessing but there was still struggle there are some of you we have prophesied upon your life 
but you have not seen the manifestation of it you have not become that principal person because you have not learned to inculcate the principle of prayer into your life the principle of separating yourself into your life but tonight the lord spoke to me that there will be an anointing for prayer that comes upon your life that anointing for prayer will catapult you from the place of nothing to the place of something from nowhere to somewhere from the place of mediocrity to the place of greatness i see god raising you to walk in the corridors of power if that person is here shake your right leg and shout i'm the one he's talking about jacob had to separate himself he was alone but the bible says and he wrestled with god after he had wrestled with god do you know man of god the bible says when daybreak came he could not walk straight he became a limping man he had to pay the price and by reason of the price he paid he could not walk straight so jacob became a limping man i want to ask you one question tonight what mark do you have to show for your service to god if you cannot point to a mark in your life as a sign of your service to God you have not paid a price yet Jacob became a limping man one day when I was in Addis Ababa, I had become born again <laughs> and we came back to Takradi and we had a lot of programs to do listen to the story I went about in the drama ministry serving the Lord when I was about to go back to school I went to my mother I said mom I'm ready to go to school give me my pocket money he says go to your pastor referring to pastor Dominic he said go to your pastor we were staunch Catholic people we were not charismatic born again believers so she did not understand why <laughs> I'm not going to the Roman Catholic Church. But me, young boy like me, I've decided I'm going to join the Heli Baba, Heli Baba, Heli Baba people. They used to call us Heli Baba, Heli Baba, Heli Baba, Heli Baba. Heli Baba. True to her word. Now listen to the story. My mother made sure they drove me to Addis Ababa College, upper school, in front of the administration, drove me there and said bye bye go to your pastor and collect your pocket money thank god after a few days she came back <laughs> the heart of a mother i'm sure she might be watching but do you know that today in our church in london my mother has become our chief advertising officer <laughs> Give me Adonai. Give me the Adonai CD. Quickly. Give me the Adonai CD. When Adonai 1 came, my mother will carry Adonai 1. And they'll be walking around. Please, quick. And they'll be showing people, that's my son. <laughs> that is my son. You know, he's the one that sang that song. And then he should be singing it. Adonai, we worship you. Son of God, you are so good. Almighty Father, hallowed be your name. The same boy that had to pay the price. The stone that the builders rejected has become the head of the... I am here to let you know, I don't know the price they are paying today, but tomorrow about this time, you shall become a principal person. Am I speaking to somebody here? Who is a principal person? A principal person is the oga in a place. A principal person is the oga. The Nigerian man will say, oga pata pata. The oga pata pata in a place. The principal person is the chief person in a place. The prime person in a place. The El Capitano. God sent me to come and tell you, I see your promotion coming in your workplace. Am I speaking to that person here? I see your rising coming in your workplace. I see your glory coming in your life. I see that day of celebration coming for you lift your voice and shout amen like a thunder 
today to the glory of God my mother is the one that goes around advertising me look if you have no mark to show for your service to the things of God you have not served God yet one day one day a man by the name of Isaac decided to dig wells and he had the principle of tenacity and he decided it does not matter how many times I dig the well even if they close it I will still dig it again I want to encourage you man of God even if that church is not going on the way you expect it to go please carry on am I speaking to somebody here until one day in the book of Genesis chapter 26 the verse number 22 the Bible says and he dug another well and this time they did not close it so he called the name of the place Rehoboth not before his time had the word Rehoboth ever been coined out one day he knew his father as the man that came out with the origination of the word Jireh not before his father's time in the book of Genesis chapter 22 Abraham encountered God as a matter of principle it was the principle of giving he decided no I have to be able to give to my God and when God said to him you must be able to sacrifice your only begotten son your only son he said I would do it and when he took his son to Mount Moriah the Bible says the Lord said to him now I know I pray for somebody here tonight may the Lord know that your principle in Jesus mighty name that you have put in place you will not have scorn from that principle you will rise in Jesus mighty name you will stand in a place of princess you will do great things among great men I see 70 people on this side beginning from today your testimony shall become better nobody shall take your glory from you nobody shall take your testimony from you lift your voice and shout amen like a believer not before his time ref has the word jireh been heard but as a result of the principle of sowing he now got to a place where God said you cannot outgive me so now God decided to give him what he was looking for. Plus, another name, which was the name God was looking for a man to give. So God now gave him a name and says, upon this mountain, the Lord provided. So he called the name of the place, Jireh. He now encountered God for himself as the Lord that is able to provide. He became a prince he became an originator i am here to let you know you can never become an originator of a blessing without paying the price he had to pay the price of obedience today a lot of people don't pay the price when you ask them to come for church service if there is nothing in it for them they will not come when i was coming today i had to be in the traffic for a long time and then i saw that look it is not a joke to be in Accra and to go for midweek service but for you who is here today the Lord sent me to come and tell you because of your obedience and because you came I see God coming through your door I see God coming through your life I see God favoring you every uncompleted project in your life shall be completed may God put a smile on your face may his glory be revealed in your life may his glory be revealed in your life lift your voice and shout amen like you know how one day a man by the name of Joseph who was a foreigner in the land of Egypt entered Egypt entered into the house of Potiphar and Potiphar's wife decided to tempt him but before he became the prince he had to pay the price and for his prize he had to pay the price of going to jail his principle was very simple he said how can i do this great wickedness and sin against my god today there are believers pastor that there are believers who have not got no principles when you go to their workplace they still even than the unbeliever am i preaching 
a young lady came to me the other day and she was crying she says man of God my fiance has decided to break up with me I said what happened and then she says because for the past five months he has been pestering me for the thing <laughs> you know what I'm talking about would be some at the end of the time and because of that he has decided to break the relationship I shook her hand I said congratulations congratulations I said well done I said ah. so women like you still exist in Ghana I said God bless you congratulations shake my hand look I want to let you know something if we the church don't sit up the government will be forced to regulate the church you saw that video of the sex for great you saw that Nigerian man one. that they are wet when did we start administering the message of salvation and then doing some gesture see the way he was dancing in the chair <laughs> you haven't watched the video eh? say Lord Jesus <laughs> you also saying it eh? I confess into my life Lord Jesus and then he finished and says you know I'm a pastor he says can I kiss you violently you haven't seen it the church has now become an institution that is being mocked at because of entities like that his church the first square gospel church came out and they said we disassociate ourselves from that the man is giving is, is, is leading somebody to Christ and then when he finished the next thing is asking can I kiss you violently but Joseph was in a place where nobody knew him the offer was on the plate for him they said you can have it for free we have allowed our stomach to dictate the pace of the principle of good conscience he said no and, and I realized that Reverend you know Jacob sorry Joseph at that time did not even have the Bible oh yeah because it's, it's still Genesis right yeah he did not have the Bible because it was before Moses the law had not been given oh but thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you am I speaking to somebody here you are not hearing me there is a place you go to you will not have a Bible but the word that is in your heart oh gandumbra kadoha hey it is the word that will keep you on the path of righteousness for his name's sake you will not fall as you will not fall am i speaking to somebody here there is a young lady here i came to let you know it does not matter how much they decide to tell you that i will not marry you if i don't lie with you let them know that word have i hidden in my heart that i may not sin against you there is a young man here they said if you don't join the court you will not be promoted in this place thy word have I hidden in my heart that I may not sin against you am I speaking to somebody here there is a young man here they said if you don't do as everybody is doing you can never prosper when did prosperity come from man the blessing of the Lord they make a rich and they add no sorrow when you make the Lord your shepherd the Lord is my shepherd I shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures he leadeth me beside the silver waters he restored my soul I am here to let you know that when you make the Lord your shepherd it does not matter what happens when your principle is as solid as the rock even the rock of ages hey today you might look poor but at the end of the day at the end of the day I see that hey I came to let somebody know that I was young and now I have I'm old I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor he see begging bread you will not just stone you will prosper you will excel you will excel you will excel you will excel lift your voice and scream hallelujah now oh god today do you know some people have vowed never to go to church again oh yeah 
when I came back to Ghana, it's like I'm learning some new things. Some people have decided. Because what they are seeing, when they call a prophet, so these days I don't go around calling myself prophet. It's sad. Say, so you just give me my academic title, let me go. Because once you mention prophet, hmm, the shadow. Meanwhile, prophetic is a good thing. It's a great man of God in London. Dr. Shadok of Osuari, we had a camp meeting at Doncaster. She had, he had two, two girls at that time. No, no boy. And they were looking for a boy. Bishop, at the camp meeting, they gave a microphone to minister. I called the wife. I said, you deliver, you have a boy. Specific. The boy will be born on a Wednesday. Give details. After a few months, I was there one night. They called me. They said, the prophecy has come to pass. Yeah. She's carrying a seed. It's a boy. But doctors has given her 24 hours. They've given her 24 hours. If she doesn't deliver on the due date, they have to operate. And, and there's danger. It was a Tuesday night. By Wednesday morning, the boy was born and you're telling me that prophecy is not good but today what somebody sees is a man that is stepping on the womb or the stomach of women on television that is their definition of a prophet no principle the principle of respect has gone out of the window but in those days Jacob so Joseph did not have the Bible but he understood. He understood that this is not for me. I cannot have it. It's a church in London. A young boy in the choir slept with five ladies one day during rehearsal. Some of them in the church. The principles have gone out of the window. Iniquity has entered the church. Am I preaching somebody or should I stop? Today you have churches where people are sleeping with people's wives, busily sleeping with people's wives without apology. One man of God, uh, sorry, one, one of them slept with the assistant pastor's wife and had the concombility, the audacity, the effrontery to stand and say that Auntie Maya, Auntie Day, <laughs> Maya, 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 Maya. Hey, where are the principles? Jacob did not have the Bible. Jacob, but he said, How can I do this great wickedness and sin against my God? As a result of his principles, instead of a blessing for a short while, he entered prison. Let me tell you this sometimes your principle can land you into temporal problems in gamma here if you're a young man in the workplace you want to stop corruption they can kill you oh yeah they can kill you do you think the issue of corruption is easy to solve like that that is why was it last week the graphic interviewed me and i said i'm giving you a solution i said instead of concentrating on cse take the fight of corruption to the three-year-old because this is our generation, we have gone beyond our cell by date. We have expired. <laughs> oh, you want to clap? Please clap. Yeah, I said, I said hey, hey, we are on. <laughs> we have gone beyond. You know, when you take a medicine, they say best before. So that means that sometimes, I mean, a week after, two weeks after, still there is hope that they can work. But yet, you know, yeah, best before I expire, track. A trap. Oh yeah. You try to see us when you are a young man. Hey, fresh. <laughs> I'm going to fight corruption. If you haven't got God and you're not strong, they can kill you. There are places in Nigeria, the mafias. What they do is to make sure that there is always doom so so that they can import generators. Try to fix the electricity problem in Nigeria, they will kill you. Oh yeah. 
So to be a principal person is not a joke. Years ago, when we started our church, we had um, an issue. One day, I was there, they knocked on the door of Bishop Oseritu at dawn. Please, CID from Accra, please headquarters. You know, those times when you hear police headquarters, you begin to shake. And they said, you're under arrest. By the time we went into the morning and checked the details, Bishop, we realized that, not knowing, one of our uh, ladies that we used to have in the ministry at the time was going out with another man, a big man. And this big man, because the lady became born again, we told the lady, now that you have received Christ, <laughs> cancel all ungodly relations. That's what we used to do. <laughs> Make sure you cancel <laughs> and then serve God properly. Lady, so you know, almost a brain cash. So we organized seven days crusade, 40 days, sorry, 21 days. We used to do 21 days crusade, Cape Coast Town Hall. Major bill, she brought money, we paid. We do not know the source. Not knowing the source was from the sugar daddy that we have told to stop. The man said, if I'm no longer getting my daily bread, no, my nightly bread, you two will not get your daily bread. I arrested a lady on the chart sheet. They said, who helped you to chop the money? They mentioned Bishop's name. And the ministry they arrested him when they arrested him when they came and they said you know the other ministers around at the time some people were like hey police i'm the the takra they say hey takra they say, police hey, hey, police station i'm a munko <laughs> some of us because of our small military background i said it does not matter i said we are going there i said bishop let's go we came to police headquarters that day ha, i was so happy that i could also put on my cv that because of the gospel i've entered police headquarters i was trying to agitate the man to push me inside the cells but he won't do it he paid me because on the day of judgment you know peter will come and say i was crucified upside down am i speaking to somebody here bartholomew will come and say look at the spears that i took john will come and say on the island of Pasmoth, i was fried in oil and yet i did not die but managed to get grace and the anointing to receive the revelation and to write am i speaking to somebody here paul will come and will have something to say about how he was crucified james the brother of john will talk about how in acts chapter 12 he was beheaded by herod are you going to come before god on that day of judgment and there is nothing to show there is no price to show there must be a price to show for your principles and for that which you are doing and i came to let somebody know to the glory of the name of king jesus based on that price you shall be elevated to become a prince even though for a temporal season joseph went into prison he later he became elevated he became the prince of egypt i see a man here god is about to elevate you in your workplace you will not help them cut corners but you shall be promoted when they are looking for somebody to promote they will look for you to promote you am i speaking to somebody here hey what is the worth of your wealth if your name is valueless what is the worth of your wealth if your name is valueless today there are some names you mentioned there's no value because it does not matter what you got in your bank account but if your moral account is empty you are as good as nothing I pray for somebody here after today may the Lord raise you as a principal person I said may the Lord raise you as a principal person may the Lord raise you as a principal person you shall rise I said you shall rise I said you shall rise lift your voice and shout amen like a believer let me tell you this testimony when I entered first year University of Cape Coast my first student allowance I took it Bishop I organized program on campus. That is how we spend the money. When people were busy chewing turkey tail, ask this man here. When I was on campus every day, you see me, I'm in suit. I'm ready to preach. First lecture, about 500 people or 800 people, very big auditorium, they had gathered. They were waiting for the lecturer. The lecturer was not coming. And I saw an opportunity to preach. I said, This is a good church, you know. Look at the number. And then all of a sudden, 
Luke chapter 5 came into my mind. I said, Jesus had to preach from the boat. But this one is even more than the church that Jesus had at the time. <laughs> so I was well dressed, came and stood there. He said, Good afternoon, everybody. He said, Good afternoon. He said, he said God bless you. Then I shouted, Father, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> They thought it was a lecturer. <laughs> By the time they realized, I started preaching. When we're coming today, we saw somebody preaching in a trotro. And then he was asking me, have you done it before? I said, I've done it many times. Many times. Trotro preaching. It is on my CV. It is on my CV. And I'm happy that me too, I can say that I preach in a trotro. So today, if I have the opportunity to take, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I hardly got it. But if I get the opportunity to take VIP from Accra to Takrade and I see somebody's preaching, I clap for them and I give them offering. I say, God bless you. If I cannot do it and you are doing it, I used to do this one. It is a good thing. The other day, one came, took the offering, but did not do the altar call. I said, my friend, come here. You have taken the offering, but he didn't do the altar call. I said, oh, what's the meaning I am so offering the we and Salvation on no nature and chen. Miss my friend, go back and do the salvation. Let them do the altar call. That's my auntie, Amy, that's it. Hey, everybody lift up your hands. And let me pray for you. I said, God bless you. Because I've been there before. I did it in the day when I was in Ghana and when I was in the University of Cape Coast. Now, I've also graduated. I am here to let you know somebody, your principles shall pave the way for you to become a principal person. Rise up and begin to talk to Jesus right now. In the mighty name of King Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Lift your voice and talk to Jesus. Begin to speak to God. Begin to speak to God. Begin to speak to God. Talk to Him. Talk. Thank you for listening to the message. Visit us on www.harvestinternationalministries.org. Send us an email through office at harvestinternationalministries.org or call us on 0302 222 372 or 0302 229 109. God bless you.